Three years ago, I purchased the Toro Time Master for $9.99 at my local Home Depot, and today it's retailing for $14.99. And it's the same mower, nothing has changed. Let's talk about why. I have a couple thoughts. Here we go. Now, if you're looking for a complete review of the Toro Time Master, this won't be it, but I will link up here in the corner a link to my complete review that I did a little while back that's still relevant and I still agree with everything that I said in that video and still stand behind that review. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is that a $500 or 50% increase in the price over a period of three years is significant. And I understand that inflation is real and, and has been real for a long, long, long time and the price always tends to go up, but 50% is quite substantial. And I wanna just give you a couple of thoughts as to what I think has happened and what's going on in the world of lawnmowers and pretty much any kind of consumer good in general. Now the first thing I wanna point out is supply and demand. This lawnmower has some really great features to it. It's got um, primarily a 30 inch mowing deck and it's a true 30 inch cut. You don't need to overlap your passes with this lawnmower like you'd need to do with traditional lawnmowers. It's 30 inches pretty much every pass. If you can get your lines straight and if you can get right up against the line of your previous pass, you get 30 inches each pass, which saves a lot of time, which is why it has the namesake that it does. Now, people I think have over the last couple of years recognized that and have learned about that and are willing to make the investment in that time. Time is money. That's one reason I think the price is going up. There's more demand for it, and as companies see more demand for something, it only makes sense for them to want to raise the price on it because they know that people are gonna buy it anyways. Now, this couldn't have happened at a more worse time because during the last couple of years over the course of the pandemic, supplies were in heavy demand, and companies, Toro included, were having trouble getting parts and supplies and meeting the needs of all of these orders coming in and the demand for their products. So with that, it costs them more to get stuff over and to put things together, it has to come back to the consumer. So with prices going up on their end, prices go up on the consumer end. Now, as I said, and I'll finish with this, $500 is a lot of money and $1,500 for a lawnmower is a lot of money especially since none of the features have changed over the last three years. It's still the same specs, the same motor, and everything else is exactly the same except the price. So, and I could be completely wrong on all of these speculations I'm making. I don't work for Toro. I am not an economist. I'm not someone who claims to know things about that kind of stuff. So these are just my thoughts and opinions and you can Tell me what you think too down in the comments section. I'd love to, to hear your thoughts as well. It's easier right now, considering nothing's changed, to look towards the used market. There's plenty of them available. They're becoming more and more popular on the used market for whatever reason. But it's a great mower, but in its current state without any additional features or additions or upgrades, it doesn't justify, in my opinion, the extra $500 increase in price. So there you go. There's just some couple of things to think about and something maybe worth discussing. I I hate to see the price go up on this. I thought $1,000 was a great price point and still think that $1,000 or even $1,100 or $1,200 would still be a reasonable price point for this mower. But $1,500 is a lot of money. So something to think about if you're in the market for this, maybe consider buying used for now. And maybe the price will adjust. Maybe they'll be coming out with some new features here soon. I'll be seeing them at the Equip Expo in Louisville here very shortly. And who knows, we might see something new with this. I would sure like to see some upgrades and additional features and things like that. And some of those I talked about in my review. So if you haven't already checked that out, please consider checking that out. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I will be documenting my trip to Louisville 
to see what is coming down the pipeline in this industry. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.